Hello, hello, back again. We are here in Cremona, Italy. Ciao a tutti. And now I make this video just because more and more people are always asking, what should I take? How do I choose? Why should I choose? What should I choose? What does it affect Belgium or French? Now, first of all, before we go, this is now double bass, it's very big, but it's easier for you to see it. Now, if I show you a Belgian bridge, I hope you can see that very well. You see that here it is round. Also here the heart is round and when it's, so it's in more narrow. And it's all actually more in the upper part and then there are long feet, okay? Very often these feet are more like a V compared to the French bridge. This is Belgium and this is French. So now if you see this as a French, you see that it is more, let's say, more decorated. And in the middle here there's a heart which goes more down. There is, generally speaking, more material here and less area for the feet. And the feet are more up like this, yeah, more like a square, okay? So it's less squeezing the feet out. And this compared to this one, this, the Belgium, is tending to opening up more, so you have to work it more in a way that it is more becoming more square, and you have to pay attention while you work on it. While this one, you actually can leave it quite like this, in order that it stays like this, and feet don't get that much largened up. So the main difference is the upper part we said and now if I go and show you um, a, a cello bridge where I worked the, bo to the both of them. Now this is a bridge which I made many years ago on a cello with uh, Julie Reed in 2007 and I would certainly say this here you can see it very well this difference of the feet and this is a Belgium and you can see also here very well how it is going like this. But you can also and this is actually the main issue. The upper part here is much smaller compared to this one. Now sound-wise what does that mean? That the French one is more underlining I would say the beauty of the sound and the Belgium is more bringing more focus and is a little bit less beauty and a little bit more power. In the last years the Belgium was chosen more and more. Now when I see it here on my instruments which I have here, I have here from Scala Perfetta Linea Macchi and my master and the antique instrument, Belgium, French, Belgium, French, Belgium, Belgium, okay? Sometimes I have only Belgium here, okay? To make it, as a, as a violin maker, I enjoy more to make it a, a French, but recently I see that people actually are asking more and more Belgium and not French. Belgium is definitely the new trend. We are in a society where everybody is competing and wants a stronger sound and wants to be more and more. If you know already you just play at home and you like the beauty of the cello and sometimes you want to see your audience even squeezing a tear, then probably the beauty what the what cello actually is, is uh, making with the French, you're probably on the right side. The Belgium is for professional and for people who really want the maximum out of it, okay? Or if you have a cello which is already a little bit, it has a little difficulties to, yeah. so then get the Belgium and it's getting a little bit more focus and a little bit more, more strength, okay? And it gives you a little bit more satisfaction that, ah, oh, this is nice sounding, okay? This is generally speaking, which does not mean that now with one or with another it doesn't sound or it sounds only nice like this or like that. It is nice cello should sound with both bridges nice and a good cello should be strong in sound also with both, okay? 
it's a tiny difference. It's a little bit like a, the comfort of a nice limousine and the power of a sports car, okay? There are two different customers and this is actually the difference between Belgium power, French beauty, okay? I hope you, I answered with this question all doubts and all decisions are made easier for you. If you configure your cello on my configurator or you're talking about your future cello, specify what kind of sound you like in the, in the comment below that you would prefer a Belgium or a French bridge. And um, I think this is it for today. Tell your friends that I have this channel and that I'm happy to have more students here on this YouTube channel and subscribe and push the bell button so you don't miss any video. Okay, thanks for subscribing. See you next time. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao.